Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what's going to happen for you guys in May 2020. So I am going to put crystals on the cards as well, so we're going to do that in just a second. We have group number one, two, three and four. So please choose your group and we're going to put crystals on now. Okay, so these are the crystals. We have group number one with the rose quartz, group number two with the desert rose, group number three with the aura quartz titanium covered, group number four with, I said group number three, group number three, <laughs> titanium covered, group number four, uh, amethyst. So choose your group now. And we're gonna get started to see what's happening for you guys in May. So let's get started, starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the gorgeous rose quartz. So for a lot of you guys, you could be connecting to your heart chakra. You could be connecting to, wow. <laughs> As I say that, my heart is like really, really buzzing. I'm getting a bit breathless. So if you're feeling breathless, it's most likely not anxiety. I mean, if it is, then just make sure to get grounded and make sure to look after yourself, okay? So we're gonna have a look at the first two cards and then we're gonna pull some tarot and do some live shuffling. So we have the overall energy, we have round and round, and then we also have higher power. I really love this because we have four as well. So this is making sure that they're letting you know that you're gonna get grounded. And this is a lot of like light energy. So it does feel like that the universe is really helping you get grounded. Okay, the universe is helping you get grounded within yourself. And if you feel like you're going around and around in circles, just maybe um, change it up a little bit with your routine. Maybe you're kind of doing the same thing every single day. And just to let you know that maybe you do feel like you're doing the same thing every day, but you're actually not emotionally and things like that. And even physically, we can't do the exact same thing every single day. You know, we can't like manipulate it. So I feel like the best thing for you to do is to just really be conscious of your thoughts and where you're leading your thoughts to. Where is it going to? Make sure you're really focusing on the positives and things like that. OK, so we're going to get the overall energy from May as well. Let's get another card. Lovely. A change is coming. Perfect. That's what I'm saying, guys. Like you may feel like you're doing the exact same thing every single day. But a change is coming, like you are gonna get a change, things are changing for you. And it may not seem like it, but you are gonna get change. We also have diamond light activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. So as I say, very strong energy. We've got two kind of black colored animals. So it's really interesting that we have the darkness and then we have the light. So both of you, like both of you, I don't know why I said both of you, um, you're, you're really kind of connecting to the both sides of you, like the light and the dark, which is really, really lovely. I'm getting very hot. Ooh, so definitely a lot of energy changes for you guys. Okay, so let's see what other energies are coming through for the month of May for you guys. Wow, so relationships, and you did choose Rose Quartz, so I do feel like relationships are a very big theme for you guys in the month of May. So it could be to do with your relationship with yourself, but I do feel like it could be a partner coming in, or like a new person if you're looking for somebody, or it could be somebody that you're waiting to connect to who's quite far away, who you know is gonna be a good partner, not somebody who you think and you're not sure, and not somebody like that, you like you know. And if you don't know who they are, then it's gonna be somebody new, okay? Um, for those of you who are in relationships, I feel like your outlook towards that relationship is going to change. I think you're, um, in, a, in a good way, I think you're going to be much more confident with the relationship. And you're having a different um, approach to yourself and how you look at yourself. So I feel like obviously when, when you change yourself, the relationship changes. So it's going to be like a different dynamic. Yeah, definitely changing a lot within yourself. Definitely. Really looking at yourself and seeing how can I change this? How can I change this way of being sort of thing? And is there anything that I need to change within my mind, you know? I just need to let let things flow and let things go. <laughs> okay, we also have Aquarius, very strong energy. So you could be connecting with an Aquarius, you could be an Aquarius. It's also showing me that you're connecting with a lot of different people from different backgrounds. And you are most likely gonna be very, 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 very in your spiritual energy this month. Like really, really, like you're really possibly connecting with a lot of different energies that are to do with like the esoteric, um, astrology, that kind of thing. Okay, so we're gonna have a look into the tarot and we're gonna see, you're gonna clear the spread and we're gonna see what's gonna happen for you guys for each week. Okie dokie, so let's pull some tarot then. Let's see what's happening for week one, group number one. 
Uh, reversed? Yes, reversed. Okay, so you may feel like you don't have a choice right now in things, which you know is kind of obvious. A lot of people are in that energy. I mean, even before the virus, a lot of people were feeling that anyway. So, um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's really important for you to find choice within the things you may think you don't have choice in. So let's see what else is going to happen in group num uh, week one. Yeah, I think you're going to come out of that. I think week one's going to be a bit of indecision time. It's kind of like a quiet time for you guys. That's where you feel like you're going round and round. You're like, I don't have any choice in this matter. I don't understand kind of where I'm going. But I think if you just work hard on yourself and you keep focusing on something, like get creative and focus on one thing, then I feel like that's where you're going to get a lot of positive results. I feel like in the next um, full moon, the next moon that comes around, I think it's going to be very, very powerful for you guys. So lots of changes week two i feel like there's a person coming in in week two i really feel that for a lot of you guys especially look at those of you who are looking for a masculine i really feel that i really really feel that yeah massive amounts of change in week two massive amount of change heading towards a massive tower moment so releasing a lot of intense addiction and releasing a lot of I'm hearing a lot of memories, releasing a lot of possibly damaging memories. Damaging, you know, I mean, <laughs> depends what you think is damaging, really. Um, a lot of memories that have made you feel very, very uncomfortable. Not to say that that's demeaning, like I just mean like it's up to your interpretation, you know. This could also be a sexual energy coming in if you're looking for somebody to be intimate with. Obviously, it depends on your age and things like that. Yep, definitely an, definitely an intimate offer coming in in week three. Wow, lovely. So I definitely feel like there's some sort of offer coming in. It could be to do with love. We're going to clarify this. We're going to see what this ace of wands is about. Yep. New love. We've got fire sign energy here. Airy Sag. Um... Oh my God, it just went right out of my head. Aries Sag Leo. Oh my God, wow, that, that took a lot of my brain power. So it could be somebody who you're going to be connecting to from the past. It can be a masculine who you're getting a bit more of a better connection with. It can be, wow. Okay, I'm going to say relationship. You guys are definitely going to have a relationship in week three. Relationship coming in, for those of you who want a fire sign. Um, it can be also a, a reconnection with an old person. It can be even a father figure, especially one a father figure who's a fire sign. I feel like you're going to have a much better relationship with them because I feel like you've had quite a... Especially because you, maybe you guys have been living with your, your family. It may have been quite hard on your relationship. This could also mean kind of um, hopefully maybe we're shifting in week two. Hopefully we're allowed to let, be let out in week two because I feel like that's that energy as well. Just completely releasing all our fears and then changing into this gorgeous new energy. Yes, yeah, so this, this person in week four is going to offer you a really nice, a nice cup. A really nice kind of new energy coming in. Okay. Yeah, you might refuse it or you might think about it because you may have some trust issues there. But I don't think it's going to be anything too bad, guys. I think I just think week four is more about thinking, more logical. And I think week three is probably your best week, I feel, for, for the lighter energies. Because I feel like you're needing to look after yourself a bit more because you may have been giving, giving, giving this month. You may just need to really look after yourself and kind of reel that back, okay? So let's give you a crystal card. Let's see what crystal you need this month in the month of May. I also do crystal jewellery, guys. I'm looking at hopefully releasing my shop this month in May. So, you know, <laughs> if you want a crystal necklace or a crystal bracelet then um, I highly, highly recommend them. They are very, very good. I mean, obviously I'm not floating, flo I'm floating my own boat here, but a lot of people have had very, very positive results with them. So we have Lepidolite, trusting, trusting that things will come towards you. We then have nature. Go out in nature if you can, as much as you can. Even if it's literally just putting on some nature sounds, that will help, I feel, and, and water sounds, get you in that kind of emotional connection with yourself and we also have abundance and creativity so abundance is coming towards you guys i actually do have a solar plexus necklace um which will be up on my etsy store when it is ready so but you can purchase my jewelry if you would like to just email me or instagram message me so thank you so much for watching guys also if you'd like to get a private reading all my information is down below and look after yourself guys you are going to get that stability just keep going and 
keep working on yourself and do things differently. I mean, if you need, if, even if it's just one thing, eating something different, wearing different clothes, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe wearing some jewellery. I mean, that sounds really vain because I was literally talking about my jewellery. But that was a channeled message. So, <laughs> I don't know, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Much love. Oh, 11.11 on the clock. Love that. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. We have the lovely Desert Rose. This crystal is really, really beautiful. This is very much about the changing in the wind. I feel like a wind change with you guys because this crystal is made up of literal water, wind and sand. Isn't that amazing? Nature is just friggin crazy. So let's get started with your reading. Let's see what the main message is for you guys within the month of May. Wow, serendipity. Oh, I love that so much. That's so lovely. So for you guys, there's definitely an element of things happening in divine friggin timing okay you will get what you want and I feel like you're going to feel really really lucky this month I feel like things are just going to start to flow and I'm hearing we're going to be let out so hopefully we're going to be let out in May I don't know but that is the message that I heard so just take that with a grain of salt so but I feel like you're going to be let out like mentally as well like I feel like you're going to release a lot of your old energy okay lovely we've got a lot of greenery in, in these cards so we have protection panther consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely we then have stake spirit <clears throat> channel your creative passion sensuality and sensuality welcome to transformation here we go divine friggin timing what did i just say divine friggin timing so that's really really lovely guys so for you guys this month is mainly about you approaching things lightly and not being too intense with things i feel like you guys are quite intense people you have quite intense views on things or your personality is quite intense which you know preach so am i um <laughs> so that's really really lovely so the intensity is actually going to help you release this old self and you're coming into a time when you feel that you can actually protect yourself like before maybe you had trouble with putting up boundaries and things like that now you really don't have an issue with it okay so let's see what else for group number two <clears throat> wow so for you guys so same with group number one you could be attracting love which is really really lovely i love that so love is going to be very very strong with this month i feel like love is very strong in the month of may anyway with the astrology especially with the sun in taurus like that's so strong with that that love energy so that's really really nice what else have we got for my lovely group number two so most likely could be with a fire sign um i feel like this is obviously for those of you who are single. It can be with those of you who are in a complicated relationship or in a relationship. Uh, wow, that's crazy. So those of you who are a Scorpio, you could be with a Sag and vice versa. You could be meeting somebody who is some who really likes to travel and really likes to get out there. I always say get out there because like when people say that, it annoys me. It's like you need to be more specific. <laughs> like I never say that in my readings because I think how is that helpful? Like, oh, you need to get out there, guys like how is that helpful you know sorry guys i've had a lot of weird readings in my time and when they say get out there i'm like shush <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry guys okay oh okay getting my scorpio energy that's what it is and we have the snake here as well so i definitely feel like for a lot of you guys you're releasing a lot of intense stuff wow amazing i love that i'm very connected to this group especially being a scorpio self that i am so for a lot of you guys you're really looking into how you can push yourself forward in terms of your own personality how can you let your personality shine more how can you be more of yourself where you are more accepted you are more accepted as yourself and where you can be more like your own soul like you're not pushing back on who you are and you are protecting your own energy like your energy is sacred your body is sacred you are sacred, you know, so treat yourself as if you are sacred because you are, you know, it's facts. Wow. Definitely relationship for you guys this month. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, that's amazing for you guys. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to clear this and we're going to have a look in the tarot. I'm going to see for each week for this month. Okie dokie. So let's have a look for week one for group number two. Lovely. So going to be really, really good in career. Things are going to be very smooth with career. And lots of travel going on. So you could be thinking about travel plans. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to travel yet, but I think travel plans are going to be something you're going to be thinking about. I think you could be w walking away from something that no longer serves you in terms of like an old partnership. And you may not even be with this partner anymore. It could just be that they've just come up in your thoughts and therefore the universe is saying, look, it's time to release this person. 
So that's really, really good. I love that. So <laughs> this is amazing. I feel like week one's very solid. I feel like there could be some slow progress. So I think there is progress, but it could be a little bit slow in terms of like, it might not be in your timing guys. Okay. So just take it as it resonates. But I do feel like there is something that you're wanting to start. It could be starting a new job venture. It could be an online store. It could be an online business. It could be an actual, just a business. Um, and you're probably working on that as well. So it could be a hobby turning into a business, but you are definitely moving away from something that no longer serves you. And during, from, from week one to week two, you're moving towards this ma massive masculine Aries energy. So you could be um, connecting with a fire sign. And we did have Sag earlier. So I do feel like you are very much connected with somebody who, I feel like it could be from the past. It could have been somebody who did you wrong and therefore they're trying to come back. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're not going to accept the offer, but I do feel like um, there is going to be a very solid offer to do with this person. This doesn't have to be someone from the past. It doesn't have to be anything bad. It can just be an offer that you wasn't expecting. And it could be a partner that, um, is most likely going to be a fire sign. It could be somebody coming in who you're, you've been waiting for for a long time, for those of you who are, especially those of you who are single. Um, it could also be that your relationship with your boss could be changing as well. You could be, um, I'm hearing X to the premises, you could be moving on to a new job or thinking about quitting, think something like that. So, week three. We have the two of cups, lovely. There's so much love happening in week three for a lot of you guys, same with group number one as well. So there's definitely some love happening. So for a lot of you guys, the emperor is definitely going to be a new person. Yep, we've got fire energy again. So definitely going to be a new person coming in who is very much on your wavelength. They could be somebody who's more extroverted than you. I feel like they, I mean, you could be extroverted too, but I feel like they're more extroverted. I feel like they're somebody who's going to make the move towards you. And you're going to be like, yeah, I'll think about it. But actually you're like, this person's really, really freaking hot and I want to jump on them <laughs> okay obviously that's going to vary for a lot of you guys especially those of you who already are in relationships for those of you who are in relationships you're going to find something you're really passionate about in week three that most likely could be you're waiting on the results for something you're passionate about as well so say if you started a new business you're waiting for kind of like customers to come in or things like that or you've started something and you're just really really working on it and you're just like Do you know what i'm really proud of where i've come and you're just very much active in the week three so you could be doing a lot of exercise things like that wow 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 okay so i'm going to show you the cards in just a second underneath the, the deck is the nine of swords eight of swords eight of swords okay eight of swords so you may think nothing is changing you may be a bit anxious about this change you know we want change but sometimes we can be friggin' anxious about it okay guys so oh my god these cards are amazing so week four we have the ten of cups Paired with the Death card and the King of Cups. Paired with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Isn't this just amazing? This is amazing. This is like, you know what? Don't need anybody else. Don't need anybody else. Boom, someone comes in and you're like, wow, okay. So with those of you who are single, I definitely see love coming in. You could be releasing a fire sign, bringing in a water sign, or you could be meeting somebody who you think just wants, you know, intimacy, but actually they want a relationship. You may have just got the wrong end of the stick. Therefore you think, oh my God, there's no one out there for me. But actually this person, you may have just got the wrong idea about it. You know, I do feel like it's a very intense relationship that you've got either you're in a relationship now or you are wanting a relationship. And I feel like for those of you who are single, you are going towards this partnership, okay? It could be also that you're just having ultimate happiness by yourself. You found something you really, really like. And the pairing could be a hobby. It could be something you really like doing. It could be some food you found that you really, really like. It could just be something like as simple as that, that you just really, really enjoy. And I feel like this is definitely, they're saying going into June, this, you're gonna have such a good month in the month of June. I feel like you're really clearing out the shit at the start, bringing in the new, experiencing the new at the end. And then by June, you're like, wow, I've got pretty much everything I want. You know, and it doesn't have to all happen in this time frame. It can be quite a slow process sometimes, especially with this card here meaning it's quite a slow process, but I do feel like it's all happening. Like it's all there for you guys. It's all in the cards. So let's see what crystal you guys need for the month of May. If you ever want a crystal, some crystal jewelry, hit me up, let me know. I do necklaces, bracelets, and I'm also gonna be selling some crystals on my site as well. So let me know, you can email me or message me. All the information's down below. So we have Chia Stolite Past Loved Ones. 
So your loved ones are there helping you, protecting you. Yeah, exactly. Passion. So much passion this month. So much fire energy. Massive amount of communication. Wow. So you definitely have love. I feel like you do have somebody coming in. I really feel that. And I feel like there's somebody who is really connecting with you, not just on a mental level, but on a physical level as well. But also you could be finding something that really makes you your heart sing, really makes you feel good. And your past loved ones are really helping you find that as well. They're helping you connect to where you need to go. Those of you who have been feeling lost, especially with career, you could have had you could have a massive idea of what you want to do in this month. You could think, actually, this is what I want to do, and then you then you do it, okay? Like that motorbike that's in the background, I don't know if you heard it, but it was like revving up. I really feel like you guys are doing that. And you're being honest with yourself, you're being honest with your heart, you're being honest that this is the where I want to go, and this is almost like the path that you're leading. All the emotions that are coming up is not a waste, you know, it's all there for a reason and everything's going to be, everything's going to be changing and we have a lot of um, throat chakra energy underneath so that your job could be a lot of talking, it could be that you need to talk to quite a few people to get this off the ground, it could also be communication coming in from somebody, you know, but I definitely feel like there is some sort of meeting coming in that is so divi in divine timing, it's actually insane and like the card says, in divine timing, good things come to those who freaking wait okay so thank you so much for watching uh group number two if you would like a private reading or you're interested in my crystal jewelry or any crystals that i am going to be selling please let me know you can instagram message me or you can email me thank you so much for being here for watching my content i really love you guys i appreciate you and i really love that i can express my creativity and my spirituality and i love it so thank you so much and i'll speak to you very soon stay safe Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you guys are having coming towards you in May. Okay, so we have the gorgeous Aura Quartz Titanium Covered. I freaking love this crystal. It's one of my favourites. You guys, I think you're going to have a very magical month. I think you're going to have a lot of abundance coming towards you. So, wow. Literally, look at all that abundance coming towards you. We have Treasure Island. That's so nice. So I want to see what's actually the meaning of this in the book because I think this has got quite a strong meaning but I feel like I'm not picking up on one of the, the words. So it says the law of attraction bringing dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking made manifest abundance appearing as if from nowhere. Financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. Wow, that's amazing. So for you guys, you've really worked on yourself. You've really worked on the part of you that needs to be healed. And now you're actually getting that abundance coming in. So that's amazing. Um, hello, it can be love, it can be finance, you know, whatever you want. So let's have a look see what else for group number three. For some reason it's really hard to shuffle this deck today. <laughs> Okay, let go of which does not serve your highest good. So there could be for some of you guys, you've already released it. For some of you guys, you still need to release a little bit more. Okay, let's get one more. Wow, lovely. There you go, guys. So definitely releasing a lot of old stuff that no longer serves you. We have take the leap of faith, emerging butterfly. We also have strength. Take time to make clear decisions, bring awareness and light to the situation. So obviously this is going to be a general reading. This is going to relate to you in various different ways. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, this heart medicine... Sorry guys, I've got a really itchy arm. <laughs> for a lot of you guys, this heart medicine could literally be just you finding out what makes you feel good and what makes you happy and really looking after yourself, you know. Um, and the emerging is take a leap of faith. There could be something that comes in that, that you need to take a leap of faith with. But I feel like you're really embracing a lot of this energy of love. I think the love's coming in and you're so close to it. You know, nine is about like manifesting. It's being near to those manifestations and really gaining the things that you really want to have, you know, in your life. And with the butterflies, obviously, it's about transformation. So through this transformative time, it's like what's on the other side of the transformation is this treasure island, you know, all the all the horrible things you've been through, all the good things you've been through is leading up to this point where the manifestations are coming in and they make you feel really good. So I love that. So let's get a little bit more clarification and see what's kind of going on with that. Okay. So it could be communication coming from an Aries, could be male or female, but they're saying that you've healed a lot. So I think you may be determined to kind of, I think the 
the time when the timing's right this will happen basically obviously which is in divine timing but okay love this is such a loving month every single group has got love in their spread that's crazy and you could meet them through your career as well okay so for those of you who are single i do see love coming up uh, love is around you okay there is some sort of communication from a fire sign coming in it doesn't have to be a fire sign it can be a uh, libra that sort of thing it can be aquarius uh any other signs you want to say capricorn taurus pisces those sort of, that sort of thing could be that as well could even be a water sign as well so let's see what else wow yeah so you're going to feel so empowered this month your communication with this person is going to be on fire and just there is definite communication coming in from somewhere and i definitely think it's a fire sign because we have the sun you have worked so hard on yourself you freaking deserve this and it doesn't have to be love it can be a friendship it can be just you feeling really empowered about your direction and for those of you who are wanting a new job i do see that coming in i feel like you're going to get the recognition you deserve and when things kind of come back go back to normal i see communication coming in from work as well so it could be something that you've been waiting for it could be like a job offer that sort of thing and with the edge, you're most likely going to be friends with this person before you are in a relationship with them. But as I say, it could mean new friendships. It could mean that you're, work you're working with this person as, as a colleague and then you turn into friendships. It could mean that you meet them through a group activity or a community. But there is someone new coming in, definitely for those of you who are wanting any new people to come in. Very, very, like, so close. I really feel like it's very, very strong. And those of you who are connecting a lot with the mysterious elements of life, anything that's kind of the unknown, you guys are really connected with that, with psychic abilities. Your psychic abilities could be completely off the wall, could be completely off the wall. And when I say off the wall, I mean like they're gonna be so heightened. You're gonna know exactly when this person's coming in, I feel. I think you know that there is somebody new coming in. Those of you who are single who are wanting new friends, there is definitely somebody coming in. And the fact we have communication right next to Aries really shows me that this person's gonna be very good at communicating. And they're also going to show you um, love. They're going to show you how much they love you, how much they appreciate you. And it's going to be a very driven conversation. It's going to be so much like action all in one go. Um, it could also be quite a strong sexual connection as well for those of you who are wanting that. But all this healing is leading you towards love. Like it literally is going from Chiron to Venus. You know, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's get the tarot. Let's see in more detail what's happening for you guys for the month of May. Okay, guys, so sorry if the orientation has changed slightly. I had to change my battery. So let's get started with the tarot. Let's see what's going on with the week number one. Week number one for group number three. Okay, we have the star. Wow, so that's a really good card to start off with. I feel like it's very similar to Treasure Island. It's like massive amounts of, wow, emotional goodness coming. Um, hello. I love that. That's so beautiful. Wow, yeah. You're feeling very empowered in week one, especially to do with your finances. You're going to get a lot of financial gain this month, so that's really, really lovely. Let's have a look for week two. You're rediscovering what it is you want out of life as well, and you're going to get it. As I say, intuition, very high. Week two, especially very, very high. So you could be doing a lot of spiritual practices. I'm not sure if there's any new moons or full moons <clears throat> or anything significant really happening in week two to do with astrology. But I feel like that could be affecting your mood as well. So just be aware of that. And also the moon and how that affects your mood also. So page of swords, communication and releasing a lot of stuff. So you're releasing a lot of old energy. So anything that no longer serves you, you are releasing that. And the page of swords is showing me a lot of new communication coming in. It could be that you're getting a lot of ideas about something you want to do. Love, week three. Lovely. So that's pretty much what I've been seeing for every single group is love and new offers of love for week three. So we'll see. Hopefully a lot of us singles will not be singles anymore. That'll be lovely. So... Lovely. Massive. It's funny because we had like the happiness and the money and then we have the happiness and the money again so it's definitely something to do with the connection between love and finances it could be that you love the job that you're in you also find a job that you love or you find something you're really passionate about but this definitely feels like love to me a lot of cancerian and pisces energy this feels really 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 positive i really like this 
I think this is something that you've worked, you've been wanting for a long time that you've been waiting for and you've been leading up to this. This is also could be something that you've wanted to try for a long time and you try it and you're like, wow, this is really fun. Uh, whatever that is, it could be that you're starting a new uh, career venture. So if you want to start anything new in your career, week three and week one, very good weeks to start. Lovely. Ultimate happiness. But feeling nervous about it. Why are you feeling nervous about it, guys? What's this eight of swords about? Why are you nervous? I think it's you want the change, but you're scared of the change. You know, it's like we want change, but it's freaking scary. Right, it's because this is this is something you've always wanted and you're freaking out. <laughs> because it's like, oh my God, so much pressure. But actually, there's no pressure whatsoever. If this is the right thing, it will feel like the right thing. And if it isn't, then it won't. And it does seem like it's somebody from the past or a past life. So very, very strong connection. It could also be you're finding your life path as well that you've maybe, maybe lost along the way during this human experience. And maybe you did this in your past life and now you're really connecting with it in this life. So we also have the King of Pentacles. This is a very strong energy, quite slow moving. So it can be the person that you're connected to could be quite slow moving. But also the thing that you really want is stable. And sometimes stability does take a while to come because we need to shed the rest of the stuff that makes us unstable. We need to unlearn the things that make us feel quite uncomfortable. So maybe that's that kind of coming through as well. I feel I need to pull you like a card from one of my other decks. I'm gonna do that right now. Oops, God, nearly put all my cards all on the floor. That wasn't great. I really want this card as well. So I'm gonna pull that out for you guys. We have aspiration. That is so accurate, especially with career. Like that is so accurate. So we're gonna do this deck, Sacred Space Oracle. We have explore, reclaim, very strong words. And we also have bless. So we have a lot of heart chakra energy. And it's funny how we had the dragonfly on the butterfly. So it's definitely an element of emerging and forgiving the past. I think you've already done that guys by the time May comes around. So I think you're now reclaiming, you're bringing in all that love energy and therefore reclaiming the things that you've been waiting for. And you're exploring new adventures. Maybe there's somebody new coming into your life who helps you to explore what you need to explore. You know, this could be new things coming in that you've been waiting for for a very long time, okay? Okay, so what crystals does group number three need for the month of May? If you want any crystal jewelry, guys, then please feel free to let me know. I do custom crystal jewelry, so let me know. So I do necklaces, I do bracelets. All the information will be down below if you want to contact me. Wow, isn't that amazing? We have like, you're healing your heart chakra, then you get new opportunities because you've healed. And then we have release and declutter heart chakra. So I think, I think you guys are working on your heart chakra this month. And then you also have psychic ability. So I feel like the more you open your heart, the more your psychic ability is going to come in. And this is an absolute fact because the more we love, the more open we are. And the more we open, the more open we are, the more we love, the more we let things in. And when I did meditation, when I first started, about six months in, my heart chakra opened. And I was like, whoa, what the F is this? Never had this before. And basically, I think that's what kickstarted this um, this venture for me, this tarot venture, because it helped me to unlock all my psychic abilities. Not that I wasn't psychic, I've always been psychic. <laughs> I've always been psychic, which hasn't been, a, hasn't been a blessing, not gonna lie, it's been quite difficult in my life, but now it is a blessing, like I can help people and I can help myself, you know, I'm much more in tune with that intuition, like and I, I can understand what I'm actually thinking. A lot of the time it'll be quite sporadic, a lot of the time I'd be overly sensitive. Now I'm learning to work with that sensitivity, but it's not like, oh, I'm sensitive, push it aside. It's like, no, I'm sensitive, I'm gonna work with this ish because it's important and it's who I am and that's who I'm gonna accept that. I'm gonna accept that for who I am because that is who I am and I love myself for it, you know? And I have been intuitive since I was about seven years old, so it's been a long journey, it's been a long time. I've been on this planet for like 700 years, I feel. <laughs> I really feel that for, a, I know that sounds, probably sounds weird for some of you guys, but I really feel like I'm an old soul. I definitely feel that. So, sorry that's a lot about me, but massive amounts of change coming in for May. Absolutely beautiful. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, if you want any of these crystals or a custom crystal necklace, jewellery, anything like that, uh, let me know. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. Uh, you can message me or you can email me on Instagram or email me. And I'll speak to you very soon. Stay safe. Love you guys. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming towards you in May. Okay, so let's what's, let's see what's happening for you guys in May. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are extremely spiritual people. You are very connected with your third eye. 
I think if you're not extremely intuitive, I feel like you want to be, or I do feel like you take things in your stride as well. I think you guys are very free flying, free spirits, quite energetic, that sort of thing. So we have all that glitters for the main message. Oops, this is gonna fall down. All that glitters. Okay, so there is literal glitter everywhere, which is quite ironic. I have no idea where it's come from. So <laughs> that's very strange. Okay, sorry guys, I'm adjusting the camera angle. I wasn't happy with it. So let's see what else you've got looking forward to for May time. Okay, so for you guys, I feel like are the group that needs to do a lot of healing. And I know that's shit. <laughs> And that's not fun, but you guys do need to do quite a bit of healing. I feel like there's a definitely not a lot of healing. It just feels like there's some things that you need to understand about yourself. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be a fire sign you've chosen this group because I always see these as fire signs, like because they're, they're orange, they're red, they're very bright, very bold. And we also have stepping into your power. Don't take a backseat in your story. It's time to step up. This is very accurate. I feel like it's definitely something you need to release and it could be a person. It could be a partner, it could be um, a way of life, it could be the way you think about yourself. But there's definitely a thing of covering things, something up or making it seem prettier. So there could be a relationship you have with a family member or some sort of connection I'm hearing with money that you are changing. The way you see money or the way you interact with money is changing. So maybe you are an overspender or maybe it's something to do with money. I don't know what it is, but you guys would know, <clears throat> excuse me, if it resonates with you. I really feel like a lot of you guys are working on your shadows this month, which I think is actually really good because that's what you need to do. And because you guys have this, you might think, oh my God, I don't want to do any more shadow work or whatever. The light is coming. The light is coming for those, for this group. It's literally in divine timing because you need to work through this to get to this part. You need to get to work through this to get to where you're going. And the tiger, I feel like, is a very glorious animal. They're very, like, um, they're just so beautiful. You know, foxes as well. Like, they're both such beautiful animals. And foxes normally come out at night time. So for you guys, you could be quite late sleepers, like, in terms of, like, you get up late or you go to bed late, that sort of thing. And you could be the sort of thinkers that think in a completely different way to a lot of people. Therefore you may have some sort of epiphany in the way you think and it's gonna help you because I feel like you, the way you think can be quite logical, but in, it's like an emotional and log logical way. So you could think about your emotions quite deeply. You could be quite a deep person. And I feel like going out in nature is gonna really, really help you. And I know that's obviously quite obvious, but if you can get out in nature, obviously if it's quite hard for you to get out in, in the day, maybe go out at nighttime if it's more quiet, if you're allowed to as well. But I feel like you guys, you are gonna get there. You know, I feel like you're really realizing your potential and you're realizing how much power you have behind this mask that you may be putting on for the world as well. A lot of you guys could be Libras as well, who are kind of maybe hiding behind this kind of masked energy that makes everything seem like, oh no, it's fine, it's fine, let's let it go. Actually, there's something you need to work on here, okay? Doesn't have to be guys, you just take it as it resonates, okay? So let's see what else you guys are working on. May time. Yeah, definitely going towards your destiny. This is a very important, I feel like this is a really important message for you guys because there's definitely something that you're wanting to work on. As I say, fire sign, we have Sagittarius. So you could be wanting to travel, you could be wanting to go somewhere and feeling boundless, but you may be feeling like you're bounded right now or you're bound. You're wanting to travel, but you're unable to take the, the you're not able to do that, you know. So I do feel like you guys could be planning, you could be planning travel. You could also be wanting to travel for your career. And I think you're learning, oh my God, what did I say? Fire signs. <laughs> They're everywhere, Sagittarius and Leo. So you're feeling really passionate about where you're going, but you, some of you guys could be feeling a little bit confused on where you're going. So what I feel like is the best thing for you to do is to take baby steps. Don't stress yourself out. There is no time limit. It is all in divine timing. And there may just be something that you need to release. You may not even be conscious of it. It may release one day and you may not even know. So, you know, it's all very confusing being a human being, but here we are. So I would really connect with that. Okay, we have Mercury. We did have the sun come out as well, which is Leo. So there could be some sort of communication coming in from a Leo or a Sagittarius. Or you could be the one communicating with someone to kind of get things settled. Cancer. I literally was thinking about a Cancerian that I know. So that's really interesting that came up. So for a lot of you guys, you could be... Wow, I'm getting really, really hot. Whew, so for a lot of you guys, you could be um, 
Okay, I'm gonna be very honest. <laughs> you could be covering up for someone. And when I say this, I mean that you could be could be basically saying that, oh, everything's fine, the relationship's fine. Actually, it might not be, okay? It might not be fine. If you don't feel 100% yourself, if you don't feel like you're comfortable, if you feel restricted by someone, this may not be the, the person that you need to be with or be around, you know? Even just talking to this person, if you feel like you need to save yourself or you feel like yucky afterwards, maybe this is somebody who you need to honor and say, do you know what, thank you, I'm gonna let you go. And for those of you who want someone new in your life, I feel like you could be meeting a friend, uh, could be a Cancerian, Sagittarius or Leo, but you could also meet somebody who turns into a relationship. This group I feel like is more about career and self. Oh my God, literally gonna say, this isn't about love. There it is, right, so it's underneath, the, it's underneath the deck, which is showing that it's there, but it's maybe not in the month of May. I think it could be June, July, that sort of thing. For you guys, you could have, um, you could have some sort of love offer coming in because it is connected to mercury so what i feel like is you are literally releasing a lot of stuff that no longer serves you so whatever is restricting you in terms of your own life that you can control that you can release do it okay i really feel like there's going to be a lot of crystals about protection and things because for you guys you are sucking out energies like a sponge and you can think oh no it's fine it's fine it's fine i'm only angry just because you know i wasn't able to get some food or you know i wasn't able to access my internet or whatever but actually this anger could be coming from something that you've pushed down like months ago you know and you think actually no it's fine but actually when you are around people who are negative or you suck up their energy you talk to them and it's like you just suck up their energy you might not even notice that that's their energy you might think oh, oh it's my it's my energy you know sorry if you can hear my stomach rumbling by the way you know you might be thinking oh it's my energy you know but actually it could be their energy it could be their energy that you're sucking up and you're like thinking actually no it's not my energy but actually it is it is somebody else's okay but i definitely feel like community is very like strong in this group i feel like you could be meeting like some people in a community you could be having an online community that sort of thing um and we also have relationships of course we do every single group has had relationships so there is definitely that element of of that coming in for this month i love that so Let's have a look at the tarot. Let's see what's coming for you in uh, every week for this month. And then we're going to move on. Okay, so let's let's get rid of these cards. Let's start off with week one. And let's see what, what you guys need to know for week one for group number four. The devil. Lovely. That's the shadow work coming through. This shadow work isn't going to last very long, guys. I feel like you may just feel a little bit down at the start of the month. So just, just letting you know the first week could be a little bit intense. But let all these emotions come through. I was literally just talking to a friend. Oh, my God. Wow, look, we've got the darkness and we've got the light. I love that. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, complete and utter opposite. Love that. Amazing. So I was talking to my friend and she, I was saying to her that emotions are just emotions you know they are just emotions i know they feel scary and they can't and, they, and i'm obviously preaching to the choir because you know i feel a lot of deep emotions being a scorpio you know and being just a human being we feel these deep emotions but actually the only thing that separates us from from sadness from happiness is literally just our association with it you know and there's so many emotions on the scale it's like happiness and sadness are just an emotion they're the same thing it's just the way we feel around it you know so they're not actually scary it's just you know you're gonna get there guys so week one massive revelation for you guys massive goodness coming in absolutely beautiful ten of pentacles is just like ultimate happiness so i love that so week two perfect now you're starting to move forward massive amounts of change could be a love person coming in we've got pisces here you could be just feeling really good about yourself i'm hearing asthma so if some of you guys who have asthma in week two just look after your chest okay i don't know why i got that but look after your chest get yourself a salt lamp uh maybe a salt um a salt uh what they call a pipe i have a salt pipe that i used to use it's very very good it's literally just salt um so yeah we have a love offer coming in it could be when i put it about asthma it could be just your heart chakra opening oh my god we have page of cups knight of cups king of cups wow ultimate happiness someone coming in feeling really good that, that month you're feeling very fulfilled and it doesn't have to be a person it can be, just be your emotions and the way you feel but it could be like a relationship that works quite out quite slowly because you're learning to be stable and you're both giving to each other equally but I definitely feel like it's still a relationship because we have a we have the ace of wands. But it also could be an um a passionate kind of offer. 
It could be like, when I say passion offer, it can be something that you're really, really passionate about. So it can be to do with a hobby. It can be like you're working on something and you're so proud of yourself. You know, that sort of thing. You're finally seeing the results in career as well. You're finally seeing career as in money. This is for those of you who've been applying for jobs, who've been waiting for raises, who've been waiting on a new job, waiting on finding a job, that sort of thing as well. But there's a lot of money to do week four, a lot of love, like not really love, passion and slow progress. And then we got a lot of um, financial gain in the month of uh, May in the last week. Okay, so there could be a lot of anxiety to do with change and needing to fulfill every single need that you have. You don't have to get there ASAP. You just got to do it in your own divine timing. And I know that sucks. I know it's shit. I know it's boring, but you just got to work with it because that is what we're doing. Being a human, it's confusing. You know, it's very, very confusing. So what's the overall energy for, for this one? Taurus. Yeah. So this is, we are in Taurus energy right now. It's Taurus sun. And you're going to get a lot of wisdom through this timing because you got to wait because it's going to take a little bit of time it is going to be quite slow but it's going to be strong it's going to be solid it's going to be loyal so whatever you're waiting for it's going to be something that's going to serve you on such a strong basis not on a superficial basis it's going to be there for the long run it's going to be there in a, such a deep way that it's going to completely take you over so whatever this is whether it's love finances happiness mental health physical health you are going towards that and you are really working yourself as long as you're working on yourself and you're really conscious of your own actions you're conscious of how you're looking after your body you're conscious of how you're looking after the planet as well you know it's amazing beautiful so what crystal does group number four need i do do uh <laughs> Do do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I think that was a very um, a fire sign joke because I don't really laugh at that sort of thing. <laughs> I think I just channeled like an Aries or something then, or a Leo. Right, so <laughs> group number four, your crystal. We have zebra stone, compassion. So if any of you guys like the stones I bring out, I can do um, necklaces and bracelets or I can do similar crystals with those. Um, if you're interested in any of my jewellery, let me know. I do have a, a jewellery Instagram, so that all the information is down below. So really looking after yourself, being compassionate towards the parts of you that aren't so fun, and my throat just closed up. So, oh, so a lot of you guys could be having throat issues as well, communication issues with kind of like just the throat chakra, like thyroid um, issues with communication, uh, singing, that sort of thing, just really getting out what you need to get out. So just be very compassionate to yourself. We have... Zebra stone, labradorite, chiastolite, and selenite. All of these are very strong crystals. Very, very strong. Labradorite is really, really strong to do the motions. Very, very deep. So you guys are really getting a lot of downloads psychically, and that's going to help you to shift those emotions. And selenite is very much to do with the, the crown chakra, the third eye chakra. So you're really connecting with that. And I feel like it's really important for you to get rooted as well. It's funny how we have the root chakra, here both cards and then we have the third iron crown so it's almost like you got either either end it's like you're connecting with the taurus energy getting grounded but also you may be feeling quite anxious because you're trying to balance out the sight the intuition and also also like the the spiritual and the the earth plane so you're integrating a lot of stuff guys just be really gentle with yourself and make sure to you know look after yourself and obviously my jewelry is there to help so if you ever want anything to help you get grounded um then let me know. I have had a lot of good results with my crystal jewellery, especially me wearing it. It's been actually really, really helpful. Um, yeah, so it's even helped me with some physical ailments. So thank you so much, guys. Obviously, I can't like guarantee it's going to help you guys, but obviously, I do my best. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you would like to purchase a reading, all the information is down below. I love you guys so much. If you want to, I say, purchase the reading, you can email me or you can message me on Instagram. All the information is down below. I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.